The feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel harks back to the life story of Mother of Carmel and the salvation history. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. We could consider this greeting as the final prophecy of incarnation. God has been preparing a nation from the time of creation to be born as human. Through revelations, prophecies and commissions, he waited for long to encounter a person full of grace and it is in Mary that he has found the fullness of grace. He has shared his power, wealth, wisdom and all effects of his nature to many, to Adam and Eve, his friendship, to Abraham, faith, Moses, power, David, a person of his own heart, Solomon, wisdom and wealth, prophet Elijah and all other prophets, his presence and voice. But in any of them, he did not find the fullness of grace. It is in Mary that he has found the perfection of faith. Lumen Gentium points out, in the Most Holy Virgin, the church has already reached that perfection. Holiness is power and this power destroys the forces of darkness and restores the divine order that the will of God be fulfilled on earth. Mary, born immaculate, could bear Christ in her womb because of the reason of her sanctity. Only by sanctity one can encounter Christ. Those who meet Christ, there is deep joy. In fact, Christian life is joy in the Holy Spirit. Mary, recognizing the newness brought to her by Jesus, sang, My spirit rejoices. Jesus himself rejoices in the Holy Spirit. As he passed by, the people rejoiced. After his resurrection, Wherever the disciples went, there was much joy. Holiness is the source of inner strength. This inner strength enables us to persevere in ups and downs of life, like Mary, who on the way of the cross, daringly looked at the eyes of suffering Christ, radiating hope and comfort. Her serene presence on the way of the cross has definitely consoled and comforted Jesus and her presence at the foot of the cross gifted a mother to the humanity. Grace diffuses vanity and makes possible meekness of heart. Adhering to this tender mother, the saints has reached to that holiness to see, hear, touch and experience God. I would like to stress on the fact that only by holiness one can accept and admire Mary and encounter Christ through her. She assured Saint Simon Stock, her protection and assistance, who adhered to her as own son, giving the symbol of her protection, the holy scapula. With Mary we have the following at our disposal, the power to exercise unrestrained right as children of God and to appropriate blessings on ourselves and others. Mary with her words, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to thy word. Vow to the Lord to be always pure and chaste, that she never loses her worthiness to be the mother of God. And the same status prompt her to look after her children on earth. Let us repeat her praises with the angel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Mary, Mother of Carmel, pray for us. Amen.